on the 5th of September this year I was given this you can see the very important uh, seal in the oops there we are in that side there this was uh, my receipt from handing in my passport application forms to the post office uh, I had to pay an extortionate amount £85.67 for this pleasure um, £8.17 for them to check through the document even though they couldn't actually guarantee that the passport photo would be uh, accepted and I would get no uh, money back if that wasn't the case uh, and, and the passport fee itself £77.50 uh, and that's not a new passport that's to renew an old passport which I needed to do because I'm going to the US for my third American uh, uh, dreams tour in uh, March um, and they said you know they would that I would be able to have it back um, within two weeks two weeks later I got my old passport back through the post and uh, a little letter from a, a company called Chase Delivery DX Delivery um, which I believe the same company and they are the people who are responsible for uh, things like giving out passports and uh, what they do is they they need to get a signature and they need to see a, a proof of identification so obviously coming to a place like Granville impossible because uh, I'm in a, a terraced house which has been modified so that there's three flats and you can't get in and none of the doorbells downstairs work um, so it's by, via appointment only if you wish to see me um, so anyway, uh, they left me uh, a number to ring to, to re-organise. Um, so I phoned their automated line and it didn't seem to work. I couldn't get it to deliver. Uh, so I sent an email um, on their home page and this email was sent on the 12th of September. And it read as follows. I work between the hours of 8am and 5pm and can't seem to get your phone service to coordinate a time outside of those hours for re-delivery. I am not expecting to be charged a delivery fee. So either we need to arrange this to be de delivered to the post office so I can pick it up if it warrants a signature or redistribution uh, will just have to reoccur without a signature at any time of your suiting. Please reply ASAP to my uh, email address above Many thanks from me. Uh, it came back um, from a person called Dawn Flack, who uh, is on the special team at DX Secure Customer Services. And she said, uh, and this was the same day, uh, Good afternoon, Mr. David Duff. I already feel like I'm talking to a computer at this point, okay? Because um, that's just not natural. Uh, thank you for your email. We can arrange delivery to your home or your work address Monday to Saturday 9am to 5pm. If you have a calling card or letter from us then we can arrange for you to collect at our collection point uh, in uh, which is in Wakefield. Opening times are whatever uh, you will need to take a calling card your calling card and the forms of ID. ID please can you co contact us so we can arrange the delivery or collection. So how is that a response at all to the fact that I know what their um, I know when they can deliver and when they can't deliver, uh, and I know uh, that I'm not going to go to Wakefield all the way to Wakefield to to pick something up. So they haven't answered it. That's like an automated response, and that immediately pisses me off because now I have to reply again. So I uh, I do apply. I I, I resend. And I, I say, going to Wakefield from Harrogate is out of the question, as I have neither the time nor the money to make such a journey. It is also inconvenient to deliver to, to, deliver to my work address, as this is not a work-related delivery. The only times I am, I am at home would be Saturday, but I do not finish work until 3pm, so it would need to be between 3pm and 5pm, and your phone service won't let me be that specific. Please advise. So I get a, a, a reply, and this is still the same day, but this is from uh, Charlotte Hannant, 
who is uh, the customer services administrative team at DX uh, Customer Services. And she says, Good afternoon, Mr. Duff, and thank you for your email. Unfortunately, we are unable to arrange a two hour time slot on this item for you. The Identity and Passport Services have contacted our couriers to deliver between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. There is an option where you can upgrade your service to a four hour time slot. However, there is an additional charge for this service. If you require this option, there is the choice of having your item delivered either between 9 and 1, uh, or 1 and 5, uh, Friday, on Monday to Friday, uh, 9 and 1 on Saturday, uh, and that's a charge of £6.13. pence. If you do not wish to arrange this option, uh, then we we are only then permitted to offer a delivery either back to your original address, where anyone at the property can accept the delivery, or uh, we can deliver to your registered business address. Uh, this can be between Monday to Saturday during the hours of 9 to 5. Now, at least I'm not talking to a machine at this point, um, but really she hasn't helped me at all. So I can, rather than waste a whole day uh, on Monday, uh, which is my day off work, um, I could uh, get a four hour uh, slot if I wanted, but I'd then have to pay a lot of money. Um, uh, they won't deliver to me unless, uh, I, unless there's somebody here to answer the door and sign. Well, who can do that? Um, if I'm at work, there's nobody here. So uh, I uh, wrote back and I said, it is, it, is, it is possible, is it possible to deliver it back to the original address and simply post it through the letterbox because there is no one at the address who can accept it uh, when I'm not there. If that fails, is it possible for you to deliver it to the post office so I can collect it from the post office? I'm beginning to get worked up here. I get a reply and we're back to Dawn Flack who uh, is the automated response, I think. Good afternoon, Mr. Duff. Thank you for my email. <laughs> right, whatever. Uh, we can go back to the original address, but unfortunately we are unable to post the item. Uh, someone needs to be there to sign for the item. So what am I supposed to do? Have the whole day off work? Uh, I reply and I say, I can't take a day off work uh, when you can't specify your estimated time of arrival in less than a six hour window. I think uh, I would like you to direct the item to the Harrogate Post Office. And she replied, uh, and this is Dawn Flack again, we are unable to deliver an item to the post office. We can arrange delivery to your home or your work. Now, how does she know for a start that I don't work at the post office, okay? It is a, it is a commercial um, uh, uh, business address for a start. And secondly, I'm really getting annoyed by the fact that she has to keep repeating. I'm sorry, there's a, there's, there's a £6.13 charge if you want a four hour window. And we can only do between nine and five and somebody needs to be there to collect it. Um, so uh, I replied, uh, why can't you deliver it to the post office? You said you could deliver it to a company address. I feel like I'm either talking to a computer or you're really not listening to me. I work during the week. I do not have time or money to go to your collection centre. There is no one to sign for anything whilst I am not here. I am not paying for an upgrade which still only offers a window of half a day. I am not taking unpaid leave from work and it is very inappropriate for you to deliver it to where I work. Now, if you can't sort this out, I want to know who else I can speak to who is further up the chain of command that might be more willing to help me. So now I've lost it, okay? And I get a, I get a reply and uh, um, it's from uh, my friend Dawn Flack again. Good afternoon, Mr. Duff. Thank you for your email. It's wearing thin, isn't it? Under the contract of blah, 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 uh, the IPS, the following options are available. Um, home or to your work, a registered business address, Monday to Friday, nine to five, or you can upgrade morning or afternoon delivery, 9 to 1 or 1 to 5, charge of £6.13. Home on Saturday, 9 to 5, or you can upgrade 9 to 1, charge uh, £6.13. Uh, anyone can sign at your home address as long as they have your ID and uh, the letter um, authorising third party to sign. Uh, the only place the passport office can offer you to collect is in the collection point in Wakefield. Opening times are Monday to Friday, 8am to 6pm, 
Uh, these are the only options we can offer you. If these are not suitable, please can you contact us on, and it's give, it gives the automated phone line, um, as the only alternative we will have is to return your item to the passport office. So now they're threatening not to deliver at all. Um, so I say, what? I say, right, well, I'm on holiday in October, OK? This is the 12th of September still. I'm on holiday in October, so I guess we can arrange a delivery for Tuesday the 4th of October any time between 9 and 5. Of course, that means you will have to keep the said documents in your possession for another three weeks. Uh, that would, of course, be to the delivery of the original address. And I get a reply from Nicholas Smith saying, thank you for your email. We're able to confirm that a delivery has been arranged for you for Tuesday the 4th of October 2011 to the below address. It's a farce, okay? It is an absolute farce. Um, uh, I understand, maybe, that they had to deliver it to somebody uh, for a signature, but um, they, they could have delivered it to the post office for me to collect uh, because that is a working uh, commercial address. And, do you know, I, I hate their stupid automated responses um, and the fact that it seems to be passed from different people. I've got Dawn Flack. I've got uh, uh, Nicola Smith. Who else have I got? There was a third one, wasn't there, somewhere down here? Oh, yes, Charlotte Hannant. Um, it's ridiculous, and I'm going to write uh, an open letter um, because now I have the documents in my possession. I had to wait most of the day for it. Um, I, I can actually write a letter and say, look, your, uh, your website promises, you know, that you're one of the market leaders for delivery. What a joke!